protect yourself and your family from unexpected challenges. Consider accident only income protection. Click the link in the description to find out more. Boxing King Media in association with SaveMoreMoney.com, Troy Williamson. Uh, press conference is done. Uh, I sensed a bit of respect towards the, the face-off. You know, there's been obviously a lot of talk in the build-up to the fight. But um, how much respect is it between you and Kevin Ajarko? All the respects there. I respect all my opponents. Um, talked a bit of shit to get the fight, but the fight's here now, so no more talking. Um, we go, go to work on Saturday night. I know it's been a big talking point, you know, how this fight was made, etc. But, you know, did you have a moment like that in your career? Like, for Kevin, a lot of people are suggesting this is his, like, make or break. Not, I wouldn't say break, but in reality, this is his first big test. What was your first big test? And maybe you can draw some car comparisons. Um, my, my first big test was uh, fighting Ted Giedman, but I earned that by becoming mandatory for the British. Um, never had anything given to me, no handouts. I've worked from the bottom. Uh, selling tickets on small little shows to where I am today, so yeah, I've worked really hard. I know you've been sparring Josh Kelly. I spoke to Kevin earlier, and he he said you made a big mistake sparring Josh Kelly because he boxes nothing like uh, Josh. Uh, it, your reasonings for sparring Josh? I didn't spar Josh, uh, basically basing him on Kevin's style. So I don't know what he, what what he's talking about there. Uh, Josh got fast hands. He's got fast reflexes. Fast feet, um, and yeah, obviously, just like you say, obviously, I wanted to go up there and, and, and spar and get some quality elite sparring, which that's what it is. So he can take away whatever he wants from that sparring. Um, I had he, he, he sparred up there and he jumped out after a couple of rounds. So maybe, maybe ask him that question when you interview him, see what he says. But what are you expecting from him? Are you expecting him to try and box you on the outside like we saw with Josh Kelly or do you think he'll, he'll be willing to stand and trade with you? He can't box like Josh Kelly, so... I, th like, I mean, like on the outside? Yeah, well, if, if he does, then I'll get to him. Um, and if he does stand and trade, I'll be too big and I'll be too strong and I'll take him out. But, listen, we, we, we prepared for the for the best of him, um, which we do on, on, on all accounts. And I'm fit, ready, strong and can't wait to go in a couple of days' time. Any predictions on the other fights in the card? The other two main, um, you know, it's almost like three main events on one show here. Uh, what's your thoughts on um, Tyron McKenna and um, I forgot his name now? Cochran. Yeah, that's him. Uh, massive fights is obviously four massive fights: is Gill, Conlon, um, McKenna, Cocker, Maxwell, McComb, um, yeah, and obviously myself. So yeah, the massive. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting great fights. They're all 50-50 fights, and obviously. What we should be doing at, at these stages in our careers, um, we don't want no easy fights. So the best versus the best, that's, what, that's how it should be. Good stuff, man. Troy, uh, anything else you want to say for your North East fans? Yeah, I just want to say, obviously, a massive thank you to all my supporters that are travelling out to, to Belfast um, not long till Christmas. So everybody's spending a hard-earned money to come and support me, which I'm really, really grateful for. And I would like to give a massive shout-out to all my sponsors, as you can see on there. And my very good friend, up and go van the man, discipline, obviously in, in what, what I represent. And yeah, all my sponsors there, so massive shout out to them. Uh, that's what keeps me in, in professional boxing. Good love, uh, good stuff there. Uh, Troy, may the best man win, should be an interesting fan, looking forward to it. Thank you very much, cheers. Have you ever been stranded on the side of a motorway with a broken down car? Like me, is that something that worries you? That's where Motor Breakdown Insurance comes in. If your vehicle breaks down, a trained professional will be sent out to get you back on the road. Or if this is not possible within the specified time frame to transport you to your home or to the nearest garage. 